Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. Let's continue playing as the United States of Greater Austria. So, I had a comment yesterday stating that, you know, you're going to be fighting in Siberia for quite a while. How about if you decide to, oh, I don't know, maybe do a massive Siberian offensive first to cut off all the soldiers in Siberia. And then let your puppets eventually kill them all off. I like that idea. I really do. I think that sounds like a very, very fun idea. And we'll try it. We'll try. Now, that will be a little difficult because Russia is doing a pretty good job garrisoning the border without me. But even they aren't filling out all the lines super fast. So what I'm going to try to do, hold the line of course. But, using our tanks, which is going to take a little bit of time to get over here, we're going to strike over here, and we're trying to get all the way to the Pacific, alright? That's our goal. I don't know if it'll work. It might not, which will actually screw up my armies quite a bit. But, I pulled off one of these armies that was guarding against the United Baltic Duchy, and we'll slowly, slowly strike, trying to get to the Pacific Ocean. But, you got to realize this. The Japanese have built a port in Okhotsk. Oh, Okhotsk. Yeah. So, that means we'll have to get to the coast, which is fine. But by the time we get there, though, we can directly go northward, cut off the port, and then encircle all these divisions here in uh, Siberia. Now, that's an extremely difficult task, seeing as we don't have that many divisions, and it'll take time for all of our divisions to get organized. Now, that being said, I like the idea. I really do. And we're gonna, we are definitely going to try it. But hopefully no one goes to war with us, or anyone new and unexpected. Hopefully we can get these divisions across from Eastern Europe over here to Asia quickly, but they apparently are coming very, very quickly. We also have an army down here garrisoning just in case against the Japanese down here, which is good. We also have quite a few ships down here. We sunk a couple convoys, a couple more convoys. We're going to sink a lot of convoys over here. And yes, good, they are on automatic split off. Oh, very good. Now that is some hot coffee. Ah, uh, let's see. So we definitely need to imp can improve the infrastructure here. I was debating whether we should strike into the half of the Fengshan government first, because we probably could capitulate them with just nine tank divisions down here at least. Hmm. Potentially. Maybe. Where are my tanks? We're gonna. We'll do that. We'll do the plan. But we're going to modify our plan just a little bit. Just a little bit. I want to go around sniping a few, maybe, provinces first, maybe? I don't know. The, the Russians are garrisoning the lands pretty darn well. Uh, but I did tell you guys. Get over here. Something like this. So that... Or we could just come up this way. I mean, they would still have a port up there, but at least trying to get to this province over here would be pretty good. This will split our armies up into two, our entire army here, but, you know, that's okay. That is definitely okay. Let's see. Is there any... Oh, get us all bombing. Nice. Better strategic bombing. Good. It's 1946, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Let's do that. Oh, did we lose anybody? Oh, uh, we sunk a Philippine destroyer, but no, not really. And we sunk a destroyer and a cruiser. Very good. Now, of course, these guys are hurting for supplies. We don't have a lot of good defensive divisions, but we have a lot of divisions over here regardless. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell them to crush any Jap Chinese opposition. We should be able to do that. We definitely should be able to. Let's see. You guys, you're still moving. Totally fine. We'll slowly push Siberia, push into Siberia doing this. But, you know, like I said, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we just definitely need our tanks in Asia. Ooh. Philippine Navy is definitely going to be dead by the time uh, I get to the Philippines. Philippine Navy, at least. Good. Uh, we need orders. What are we building currently? Oh, I forgot to fix my war support and stability. Whatever. Uh, nuclear reactors are always nice. We're building up some infrastructure over there for some reason. What if... What if... We build some infrastructure down here. Oh, shoot. Some up here, because we will need it. And how about a few more 
Refineries? Yeah, we could use a few refineries. We'll do that, and we'll do that. Sounds good to me. Convoys? Ooh! Two more gone. Very nice. I say our tanks are not over here yet. And Ukraine's cancelled Lindley's. Totally fine with me. Not a biggie. Oh, two divisions. You guys can take these guys out, no problem. You guys are would be attacking over river, but you will attack this way. Since we have Russians here guarding this guarding each province pretty much anyways, I'm totally fine with attacking. Go ahead and help them out. That is five divisions or attacking over defending against my divisions over a river. That's okay. Oh, I still got some tanks here. The infrastructure is pretty much crap. That's pretty much what I thought it would be. <clears throat> Honestly, attacking... Uh, since they have prov land provinces here, that's probably not a good idea to attack those. We can attack a little more northward. We'll attack this way. Actually, is there any red line, or is that just goes, uh, goes all the way to the top? Alright. Well, I mean, we could technically just go to the very top. One, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's that's pretty difficult. There's a red line over here. I, can't, I think I can't tell, yeah. That's what we're really trying to get to. That's really the best thing. All right, so we're pretty much ready to go. Awesome. Better bomber defense. I love it. We look ready. Uh, yeah, casualties, attrition, you know, all the good stuff. Ooh, we got a lot of political power. Definitely want to go towards war economy. As I keep an eye on our uh, conscription policy. Hmm, exports. Uh, I could do the service by requirement. It doesn't hurt us too bad. The construction, construction time sucks a little more, but other than that, it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead. Since we have the political power anyways. All oh, right, tanks are almost there. Chita, you get quite a few, bit of uh, infrastructure. Pleased with it. Ooh, better rocket engines. Awesome. And eh, sure, we'll do another one. Why not? Here. Send the tanks this way as well to help out. Could these divisions help attack here? Maybe. <clears throat> and send in the motorized from here as well. That could be very good. Or not. Or not. We'll see what happens. Their Russian divisions all have enough men to fill up their uh, coffers. Yeah, we'll call them male coffers. Soldier coffers. Yeah, we definitely want to attack this. Come on, guys, get over here. God, he's so slow. So all this land in Siberia will be given back to the Japanese. I mean, to the Russians, once it's taken from Japan. Good. Come on, any day now, any second now, and... Alright, so you're here. I don't want to lose any more of our organization that we don't have to lose. Hopefully this will be okay. I don't want to attack or move through the mountains. That's just kind of suicidal. Hopefully no one gets in circle, but now that I said it, someone probably will. Two, and then... Oh, we, we're one division short from reaching the sea. We'll see what happens. And give them a boost to start with, since our infrastructure isn't super good here. Or as good as it should be. Wow. Mm, let me give our boys... Oh yeah, oh, yeah, we are making heavy fighters. Actually, that's really good. Just a hundred. Something easy, something simple. Not too, not too much. Not too much. Awesome. We'll do fine there. Heavy fighters. Oh, convoys. Awesome. Good, good. Uh, yeah, there's a reason why I'm not attacking. I just want to defend, guys. Please, Russia, don't kill your soldiers off, because they are pretty well off. Ooh, Weissman Manfred. A better fighter for its time. Even though I think I'm probably not going to do... Oh, that was the next heavy fighter. Awesome. Bombers, uh, naval Doctrine. Yeah, we could do better Naval Doctrine stuff. We're done with that. We're done with that. Rocket artillery is always interesting to use. Done, of course, with land doctrine. Done with logistic companies. Uh, yeah, let's get more oil. Why not? We're always oil hungry, anyways. And heavy fighters. Better heavy fighters. I want max out range. We we'll need some of this. And oh, that's not good for reliability. Oh, that's really not good. Um, no. Well, max out reliability for max out range. 
So be it. Be better. There you are. There you are, my friends. Good, we're moving up. Oh, that is a lot of divisions there. I mean, this will help extend the front line a little bit too, so that the infantry divisions can help get in here quicker. So, how are we looking over here? Not bad. We can take this city uh, east of Pomsk. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep the pressure up on the enemies. It looks like we were not able. Oh, we were able to win. Good. Lotar, do you have anything? I would like imp improvisation expert. That would be good. Oh, they're attacking to make sure that we can't move. Bodaibo. Oh god, that infrastructure is so bad. Jesus. Does the field marshal. Carl, do you have. Oh no, you don't have the logistics wizard. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. But we are seeing quite a few convoys. Love it. Oh, and it looks like because of that, the Russians are definitely helping our potential future enemy out. Well, you do you, Russia. Just make sure it aligns with our goal. Alright, some, some Chinese soldiers here. Awesome. Chinese divisions just... they can't keep up anymore, I think. And send the tank this way. Ooh! Nine more convoys sunk? Oh, against probably three more sunk convoys. Oh, oh the battle's bridging on down here as well. Cool, very nice. Let's see, how is this going? Well, we're not winning. Well, we are kind of winning the battle. And I don't mind already going ahead and shifting the line around just in case so that we can get a little more equal distribution along, along the line. Keep moving, boys. Keep on moving. One tank's here. One is moving back. That's not, that's not what I wanted. That's okay, though. Edward. Oh, you're an infantry expert. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a good idea. We took east of Tomsk. We've been taking slowly, slowly more territory from the enemy, which is great. Not too much down here. Not too much is going on here in China, but I eh, don't really want to attack that. That's five divisions versus quite a few, but meh. Got to play the odds, man. Maybe seven against four might be okay. Maybe not. Maybe it is. And just in case, there's a boost. And any more convoys? Yes, sir. Seven more, some. Plus two. Awesome. How is the war against the Reichs Pact and Entente? Well, let's take a look at Mexico. Mexico has been invaded by Flanders Wallonia on the wrong side in the Pacific, but they've also been invaded by Spain, who wants to reclaim Mexico. Interesting. Other than that, let's see. How many divisions or men have they lost? Germany has lost a million. Uh, Sardinia has lost quite a few for being an island. Canada's lost over half a million. Mexico, over half a million. Central American government, over half a million. USA has lost almost 800,000. <clears throat> Overall, casualties compared to each other, the Entente's lost double. More than double. Wow. Interesting. Let's see. Your manpower is very low. Mexico, your manpower is not very good. Canada, your manpower is not bad. Not bad. And the German Empire manpower is... Oh, Jesus. But they are on, of course, all adults. All adults serve. Institute for Luftfahrtechnik. Alright, cool. You do you, Kaiser Wilhelm, whatever your name is. The false German. Alright, so we got one division moving this direction. And of course, like always, I'm going to redistribute our infantry. Now, I know this is taking a while to do, but great things take time. Let's see. So we get, we're good on chromium. We definitely need more steel. Denmark, you, you were the chosen ones. You were the people I was supposed to rely on instead of those Russians, but... Don't mind borrowing maybe a little bit more from Russia so we can get some more steel. And oil. Ah, thank you, Iran. Yeah, I don't want to borrow any more from the Russians. Maybe the Ottomans. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And I knew this would happen. I just knew this would happen. Uh, send two of you guys this way. Yeah. 
we're right ahead. You guys. Nah, that's not good. You do, you guys. Actually, you guys come up here. Make sure that this line is constantly thought of. Go ahead and just stop advancing for now. We really need our lines to catch up to each other. So, that'll be fine. Small little encirclement. Pretty much planned, and I knew that was going to happen. Uh, anything else here? Oh, better radar. Sounds good to me. How about you? Wow, we definitely need more steel. What are we producing that requires so much steel besides a lot of ships? Oh, mechanized. Oh my god, we got so much mechanized equipment. Uh, I will put the mechanized equipment in after... Oh, well, we actually need more. Eh, that's not bad. I'll put the mechanized equipment in once we are done using the tanks for a while. So. Mmm. Very nice. And actually... Go ahead and just have the, the, the line like this or something. Should have told them that earlier. Go ahead and do... Oh my god. You got these guys encircled. Make sure that these guys don't get more organization. Have you guys do this. Ooh, advanced oil processing. Very good. Eh, a little more rubber, because why not? Oh, good. No, oh, a Korean vessel was just sunk by us. Go ahead. Keep on going, guys. Hmm. And surprisingly, we're not losing any uh, tanks. That's actually kind of interesting. Or is this? Oh, this is a different province. That's why. Now go ahead and kick their booties out. You you can stay there. You don't need to chew up any more of your own tanks. The tanks will do fine. We lose that. Whatever. All right. Looking good. We're getting more manpower. We can tell. 480 factories is a good number to have. Irkutsk. Uh, I guess we're building that up. Oh, there's a lot of divisions here. Holy cow. Alright. Come on. Don't let them do that. They're only Chinese soldiers who are probably out there with nothing but guns. So, you really, uh, you have no problem taking these guys down. Especially at the speed we're going, this is pretty good. Oh, and the Japanese decided to add another division in there. Well, then I decided to force my attack. And we are taking over a river. That's why it's not going as fast. That's okay. By the time this battle's done, we should be there. We should be there. Good. Keep mobilizing more soldiers. Ooh, advanced rocket engines. Cool. So we're almost pretty much done with this uh, page. This engineering page. Engineering. Almost done with land doctrines. We do better with air stuff. Eh, one, one day for close air support. Sure, why not? And it took four hours, but we've researched how to make close air support planes. Some naval stuff. Of course, we're done mostly. I could add carriers in, or subs, but we have other things to get to. Actually, I want to get the rocket artillery. I can add them, I believe, to my pre-existing divisions. Is that no motorized rocket artillery? I already have motorized rocket artillery, but rocket artillery. I think it's a support company, isn't it? Uh, with you guys, yeah, you're you're all fighting this way. I don't want them to lose any more supplies than they already don't have, so that's why we're not attacking from anyone else. Ooh. Uh, jet fighters. Ah, better jet fighters. Da 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 da. Artillery. Anti tank, yeah, we could add, but nah, not really. Support companies. Let's get better recon companies, because everyone uses recon, you know? Ah, screw it. Just go ahead and up them out. Yeah, this tank division is not going to die, and if it dies, Japan, China, I am, I am sorry for your future. So, go ahead and throw another division in there. Uh, let's see, so since we've been kind of hoodwinked by that, well, let's just have another offensive over here. Throw in the... one tank. One tank over there. We'll throw in quite a few boys from this direction as well. Mm, throw that one in there, why not? Anywhere else? Anywhere else? A good strike. This looks like a good place to strike, maybe. Drain of other supplies as much as you possibly can. Ooh. Have a good try. Four against... Oh, I don't know. How much is that? Six? Six against four? Probably a bad idea, but let's do that anyways. We're really going to drain the Fengshin government of its supplies as they are... Oh, Japanese are sending in their tanks, too. Awesome. Yep, we're doing very well. Expected, of course. But they keep throwing in more soldiers. Well, you're going to throw in so many soldiers that you're going to run out of men. 
Or at least equipment. Chinese people don't ever run out of mana. They can't stop producing babies. There we go. We've done it. Alright. Let's go ahead. Rearrange this once more. Once more. Because I need literally every single tank up here. To reach the seas. Because then we will definitely have access. Oh, can we actually... Yeah, we can actually reach up to this area. But we need to cut them off. So it would be some move. Like one, two... Uh, hills... One, two... Uh, good attack there, but this is a little weaker. One, two... Three, four, five. Which would cut off... These guys, except for the port up here. So that's five. And then we go six... Seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Interesting. Could maybe expand somewhere. Uh, oh, this, this, this looks pretty weak. Go ahead and push them in. Push them in. No worries, no worries. Russian tanks are very, very good tanks. I've got a ton of political power. Let's use some of these guys. Anton Sturm sounds like a good guy. Uh, wow. They've beaten the Japanese back quite a bit, but something tells me the Japanese are probably going to come right back if they start moving their, you know, divisions. What's it, what's uh, the uh, Navy like of Japan? We've been killing a lot of convoys. Still pretty good. We haven't really encountered anybody over here. Uh, German, Chinese people, not bad. Thanking government has 26. Transmir is independent for some reason. About 50... Who else are we fighting? Our Japan comes down here. They're taking out Australasia. The ancient government has colonies. All right, thank you, Japan. And we're still building a lot of oil. Oh, actually, we can probably get rid of our dependency on. Eh, I can't get rid of our dependency on them just yet, but maybe we can get rid of our dependency on Denmark and maybe Hyderabad. Sorry, guys, but I need my factories. Not really. I already have a ton of them. Ooh, better recon. Good. Uh, let's get even better recon after that. So, I'm going to go ahead and strike with my tanks because the infrastructure here is so bad. Just move up slowly if you can. High level bombing, great. Better bomber defense. Uh, engineers. Oh, actually, we need maintenance companies. Duh, why did I add maintenance companies? It's already 1946 and I don't have maintenance companies yet? Come on, guys. What am I doing? We're going to keep stretching out our lines as best we can. You know what? I might as well just go straight up there and then go straight south. Because I'm going to have to go through the hills anyways. So instead of doing that, well then, uh, I can't really tell. It's hard to see kind of with all these lines. Yeah, we're going to go straight up here. The forest. Just keep on moving when you can. We're going to keep the pressure off over here. Oh, actually, we'll just, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You guys, yeah, you do that. We're almost behind them. Almost. Anything else? We covered this area very nicely. And then you guys will come over here. It's great having puppets sometimes. It's so good sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, attack over here if you can. Oh, one division. Say it ain't so. Yeah, these Chinese don't really have very much of anything else. Except men. China always has men on limited conscription. Wow. That's good. They have up to 350 divisions. That's a crap ton of divisions. Holy cow. You guys are doing great. We're back in Kutsk. Alright. Keep going. Keep going. Never mind. I just told you to stop, I guess. And I keep one of you guys here. And we could use another commander. Good. So that actually will give us like 5% better attack and defense. We already have Anton Sturm. Who oh, is laggy? Felix Weber. Got it. Sometimes. Actually, I always wish this game wasn't running on System 32. So I could actually use more of my CPU scores. But, you know, maybe that'll be, happen for Victoria 3. Oh god, no. They're never going to make Victoria 3. If only, man. But if they ever make Quake 4, which I'm sure they will someday. Oh, okay then. Not a good attack cancelled. God, if I got attacked right now, that would be terrible. Please don't attack me. Not yet. Not yet. Too soon. 
Uh, oh, better rubber. Yeah. If you won that battle, you might as well attack this way. Let's see. Better rubber. Oh. Yeah, we don't need that then. Uh, okay, so we're out of our dependency on foil and rubber, mostly. We could use more steel. Elusive, ever elusive steel. Engineering is done, air doctrine is done. Yeah, might as well make some strategic bombers. Better strategic bombers. Who's not giving me my stuff? God, freaking dang it, Denmark. Denmark. Ooh, Ottomans, yeah, give me some of that stuff, Ottomans. Not right, not bad. Alright, so we're still slowly moving up. Looking for areas to succeed in. Uh, I don't want to attack here because we're still waiting for this guy to move up. Ah, screw it, we'll do it anyways, why not? Sunstorm. Come on. We're still moving, good. Uh, let's see what's going on. Our ships are doing so well. More Philippine convoys destroyed. Honestly, don't attack Karachi because as long as the enemy has Karachi, they can still get supplies in here. And it's easier to destroy supplies in the ocean when they have no escorts compared to when trying to kill them on land. Oh, like this. Eh. Happens. You know. Hey, Darebad's doing pretty well, but they... Did they expand this far up north, or do they have a hole here? I think they just... That's normal for them. Yeah, that's... They're expanding, I think, still. I think. Well, how's Mexico doing? It's, it's been a while. Mexico is falling apart. Flanders Valonia is retreating slightly. Kingdom of Spain is doing well. Burma has decided they want a piece of Mexican territory, as well as Deutsch Middle Africa and Deutsch Ostasian. Jesus, this looks, this looks terrible. This looks like parasites of the Reich's Pact coming and just sucking on Mexico until the host is just going to wither and die. And the sad thing about it is that Mexico, is, while it's being sucked dry or fighting for its life, is being supported directly from the United States, which has been invaded by the German Empire in Washington. Why would you invade Washington? Why not, like, L.A. or New Orleans or even Boston? What? God dang it, Boston's still the capital of the United States. <sighs> well then, interesting. And they're also being supported by the Canadians, so... Germany, you were doing one terrifyingly not bad job. They have a ton of ships. Canada, oh my gosh, don't tell me that the Germans... The Germans took out most of the enemy ships, probably. Over 200. Wow. Oh, good lord. I'm going to have to see after this episode how many ships Germany has. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of stuff here. Actually, how many ships do we have? 126. 30 battleships! Holy! 30! 30 battleships! Wow! That is a ton of battleships. I want more. I know. It's terrible. The disease, but I, I gotta have more. We need a freaking massive, a huge navy, bigger than what we already have. But I think I'm running out of provinces to put stuff. Never mind. Yeah, these are all pretty much 60. Yes, more ships. Oh, I have. Oh, I have islands down here. I forgot I took that stuff from Spain. All right, cool. And of course, we still have stuff down here. So, yeah, after making all those, I'm probably going to make more military factories. But of course. Oil comes first. Yeah, we'll need some military factories. I'm glad I, I took quite a few... Oh, we made, made an encirclement. But I'm glad I took pretty much most of South America as well as Central America. Because... Oh, good job, guys. Good, 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 good job. Because that just opens up a lot more territories for me to expand my military capabilities. Let's go on. Keep moving around. I need, like, all of you to come up here... And then two of you stay. Then you two here, and then you two will stay. So I need those four divisions to get up there pretty quickly. Please don't go to war with us just yet. I need you up here, and actually I need you to go ahead and maybe move if you can. I wonder if I can get up to here, because where this red line is, just border that red line with this tile over here. Will that cause? casualties to increase and or will the enemy not be able to get supplies? That's my question. I don't know that answer to that, but I'm hoping it will. Ooh, better off artillery. Uh, let's do this first. Squared efficiency. Alright. 
What's our casualty rate right, rate right now? We've lost less than 100,000. Not bad, personally. Uh, Russia's lost quite a few, but it's Russia, so they're going to get men and territory after this anyways. Japan has lost quite a few with the Jer Japanese Chinese losing quite a few as well. No, we're not winning that battle, that's unfortunate. God, I would love to be able to fix these roads up. Alright then. Oh, stop canceling your non-aggression pack. Oh, but you, I need you to attack here. Maybe we'll make a diversion down south. Because atta obviously attacking north is kind of difficult. Oh, we're winning. Just break for the Pacific. Come on, break for it. I need you to move up here as well. No tanks are over here. Come on, guys. I need you over here. I know the infrastructure is terrible. I know a lot of things are not going as well as we would like. But that's okay. We will get through this together. Cut across and oh, that's even worse. Than Jesus, come on, guys. Japan, you've had this territory for so long, and you chose not to repair or build up the infrastructure. Shame on you guys. So, Christian Pact, whatever. It's fine. It looks like this line is dying over here in Central Siberia. Yeah, it definitely is. Definitely, definitely is. You guys attack. Sense of infantry your way. Mm-hmm. One. It's not a great idea to attack, but that's okay. Yeah, they're de definitely suffering from a lack of infrastructure. Uh, ooh. We might be able to do very well here. And I will end the episode soon. I just want to see how much further we can get first. You guys are poking out here. I don't like you guys poking out. That's good. We have definitely reached official Chinese lands quite a while ago. Oh, look at all this territory that's open and available. Come on, guys. You're more than halfway, you're about more than three quarters of the way. Oh, jeez. It's such slow fighting through this, this part of the world. That's why you never fight a land war in Asia. Okay, after this, at the peace conference, I'll definitely give Russia all this territory back. I'll probably end up going to war with Chanzimur to give that to Russia. Uh, obviously, Qing will get the Fengqing government. The Mongols are just going to be Mongolian. Uh, yeah. Even though, the, even though the Qing's over here, they'll get all this territory, which is fine with me. Yeah, that's pretty much what will have to be done. Yeah. Alright, so that's not bad. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Go ahead and strike them, because I know fighting in the mountains is bad. It's terrible, but you're going to fight anyways, and they're pretty weak as is. So with that in mind, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete my invasion to the Pacific and cutting the enemy off. I'm going to play a little bit ahead of time just so that you'll see us crush all these divisions that are stuck in Siberia together. That will hopefully weather away, and we'll have a great time watching this. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, because that would be great if you did. And I will see you tomorrow as we bear down on crushing the rest of the enemy forces in continental Asia and plan our strikes into the homelands of the Empire of Japan. Thank you again for watching.